Hello friends, uh, in this video lecture I am going to talk about the physiological states of uh, a factor and what are the different types of factors are there and what are the meaning of those factors during this conjugation process Okay, because those things are really really important uh, for learning purpose Okay, so let me just uh, take the tools Okay, fine Now here, uh, let me take a color Okay, fine now let us talk about uh, the definition of conjugation first. Uh, the conjugation means the gene transfer from one donor to a recipient by district uh, di by direct physical contact between the cell. So here we we will see in this picture that uh, there is a direct contact between a bacterial cell. So two bacteria is a bacteria A uh, which have to be a donor and bacteria two which has to be uh, a recipient uh, for that gene and then they will interact with each other by direct cellular contact uh, by making a tunnel through them which is made by their uh, structural protein called pilins and uh, through this tunnel they can transfer their genetic materials okay now there are different mating types of bacteria so there is a uh, different uh, things called the mating types uh, in uh, in between those bacteria now there are different types of mating types called f type or hfr strains or there are different names you can heard of uh, most of the time students create confusion uh, in their mind about these terms but I'm going to clear these things out for you now here we think about the donor cell a donor cell must have something uh, before the conjugation process and that is called the F factor or fertility factor now what we mean by this fertility factor that is uh, denoted here this is the fertility factor of this fertility factor means it must have some extra chromosomal part Remember, extra chromosomal part, not the part of the chromosome. It's an extra chromosomal part. So it must have the extra chromosomal part with it. And this extra chromosomal pa part is often called plasmid. Now this plasmid must not contain the uh, necessary ingredient for structural support of the bacterial cell, but must have some other advantageous genes. Uh, that means, for example, sometimes uh, a drug resistance gene, gene. sometimes uh, the gene for uptaking uh, some other type of glucose uh, or, or uptaking some uh, complex structure of glucose. Okay, so these these things can be uh, here uh, in inside this extra chromosomal gene. Now this is called the F factor or fertility factor. Now this factor have to be present there inside the donor cell before going through the conjugation step. Otherwise, uh, the conjugation cannot be established. And and that's not at all. But, but uh, another important thing about this fertility factor is that fertility factor must have uh, ODT or origin of transfer so from where this fact uh, this DNA material will be cleaved and can be transferred so that is called the motility factor for that uh, for that plasmid okay because uh, non motile uh, plasmids cannot uh, participate in this conjugation procedures okay now if we think about uh, the recipient cell which is denoted here the recipient cell lacks that F factor so that is why the affinity between this donor and recipient happens because donor is having this F factor, recipient is not having the F factor so they will come and this do recipient will take the F factor from donor and by taking it, it finally receives that F factor and it will become uh, the F factor or fertility factor containing plasmid. Okay, now this F factor ha have another important thing to do is that F factors can produce uh, the sex pillars what we can see here so you can see in this uh, case the donor only can form this pillars which is a tunnel which is made by uh, the pili proteins now this tunnel is only been made due to the presence of this F or fertility factor except for this fertility factor we cannot produce this this uh, sex pillars what you can see in case of recipient cells okay now let us move on to the physiological states of F factor and different types of F factors. Now the first one what we call the autonomous uh, F factor or F plus factors. Now what do we mean by this F plus factors if we look at this picture uh, that uh, the characteristics of uh, this uh, autonomous factor is that that F uh, plus uh, here we can see uh, it is having uh, this extra chromosomal DNA which is carrying all the fertility uh, factors or containing the origin of transfer and also it is having uh, the important regions uh, which can uh, be transferred from this donor cell into a recipient cell okay now in this case there are low transfer of donor chromosomal DNA into the recipient chromosomal DNA that means this chromosomal DNA is not being transferred what is being transferred is this 
is this extra chromosomal DNA or F uh, factor, right? Or fertility factor can be transferred. That is the important part. So that is why it is called the autonomous because it de it uh, do not depend on other things. So it can do uh, its own job for this purpose. Now, if we think about uh, another uh, factor, which is called the HFR factor, it is also called the high frequency of recombination uh, factor. Now, this high frequency of recombination factor can be formed uh, from this. F factor. So you can see there is a F factor. So a F plus means it is having an F factor. Now this is integrated. Now this plasmid DNA is integrated into the chromosomal DNA in somehow or due to some uh, crossing uh, over event, due to some uh, recombination event, this uh, F factor is, is uh, become conjugated with the chrom cellular chromosome of the bacterial cell and right after that it will form a large chromosome which is containing all the structural genes for the bacterial cell all the chromosome uh, chromosomal DNA of bacteria as well as the plasmid DNA of bacteria so having both in the same cell we call them the HFR factor we call them the HFR type of bacterial cell now we can call it the high transfer of uh, uh, high recomb uh, recombination frequency or high uh, frequency for recombination why because if we think about the recombination of chromosomal genes then in that case this frequency for this type of recombination is really really high why because as they are having uh, uh, this uh, this blotches of uh, this fertility factor it is having the ODT so it can be clipped from the ODT and it can be dragged onto the recipient cell so that's why due to the presence of this uh, uh, high, high frequency due to the presence of this uh, extra chromosomal uh, DNA as uh, the F factor along with uh, this uh, chromosomal DNA of the bacterial cell it can be easily transferred okay so that's why the normal uh, frequency of recombination of the chromosomal genes are high because uh, if we create a cut in this place and can take drag a, a DNA strand from here it will up it will uh, after some time it will take the chromosomal DNA with itself right so that's why due to the presence of this uh, extra chromosomal DNA along with the chromosomal uh, DNA in this kind of cells uh, it r actually increases uh, the frequency of recombination for the chromosomal genes okay now let us move on to the last and third type of uh, factor we'll talk about talking about and that is called the autonomous with donor genes factor or, or called f prime factor now why and how this f prime factor generates if we if we think about the hfr strain so this is the hfr strain that means the chromosome with uh, the blotches, uh, blotches of uh, extra chromosomal dna now sometimes what happens uh, due to the uh, normal uh, recombination event this kind of thing is formed and uh, sometimes uh, uh, there is a uh, exchange, a strange exchange between themselves and also sometimes a uh, reverse recombination event to drag some, uh, some amount of these things up. The actual goal for this is to make this plasmid DNA separated from the chromosomal DNA because sometimes cell need to separate the plasmid DNA from chromosomal DNA and during this process there will be fault there is uh, they, they make different mistakes as a result of this mistakes sometimes what they can do they they start to take few stretches of the chromosomal DNA with itself instead of the plasmid DNA as you can see in this picture so as it, it is trying to drag this extra chromosomal DNA along with itself it drags some amount of chromosomal DNA with itself and it leaves some amount of extra chromo chromosomal uh, DNA with this uh, bacterial chromosome and as a result it will form a mixture type of extra chromosomal DNA which is having a small part of this chromosomal DNA okay now uh, carrying uh, this small part of this chromosomal DNA uh, again increases the ch chance or chance of the transfer of this this segment of this chromosomal DNA so again in this case we call it autonomous beca because it can be transferred uh, on its own because it produces the separate entity uh, from the chromosomal DNA but still due to the presence of this uh, uh, chromosomal DNA uh, stretch on, onto itself this is not totally autonomous so we call it autonomous with donor genes okay so we have seen three different species of bacterial cell uh, not actual species three different types of bacterial cell in this case you can see one is F prime which is having uh, in F prime cell so take home message in F prime, F prime cell uh, we are having a bacterial cell uh, inside the bacterial cell we have two things one chromosomal DNA with splotches uh, which 
small sequence of the extra chromosomal DNA and uh, one plasmid DNA with small stretch of the chromosomal DNA. Now in uh, in HFR strain what we are having, we are having only one uh, integrated uh, chromosome and plasmid content. In this case we are having the chromosomal DNA of bacteria uh, which is integrated along with uh, the plasmid DNA of the bacteria. Now in the third case, what we are having, a third case we are having the in case of F, uh, F plus, we are having both them together. So we are having uh, one uh, fully uh, mm, full chromosomal DNA and one full uh, plasmid DNA. Okay.